Welcome to another video by Glendale Designs. Today we'll be looking at how to use your product reviews module in your Miva store. We have an in-depth blog post with screenshots and written instructions to show you how to operate the module within your Miva admin. So if you're looking for more specific instructions, take a look at that blog post. It's linked in the description of this video. First, to access the module in Miva, you can either use the search bar here by typing in reviews or you can access it from the settings menu, then selecting system extensions. You'll see you have some different product review tabs in this screen. Generally speaking, you're only going to be using the settings tab and the reviews tab, but mostly the reviews tab. So let's start there. When you click the reviews tab, you'll see all product reviews. This page will give you a ton of information, which you can add or remove by clicking this button here. Right now, we have these fields showing, but if you want to view the orders that are associated with the reviews, you can turn on order ID and that data will show as well. As you can see, this is where you will approve or deny any new reviews from showing on your site. If you've read the review and you'd like to post it on the live site, simply click the active toggle. This will immediately show up on your site. To see more of the review information, you'll likely need to scroll across to the right. This screen allows you to make edits the same way all other list views do in Miva. If you hover your cursor over a field, an inline edit button will appear, or you can bulk edit using the checkboxes. To read the full review, you'll need to edit it and open the reply in the edit window. A great feature about this module is that you're able to reply to the reviews. The reply works the same way. Click the inline edit button, then edit to add your response. Just like making the reviews active, your reply will immediately appear on the site beneath the original review. You can also change some settings about your review module by clicking over to the settings tab. From here, you can change whether a field is optional or required. Keep in mind that our developers set up the module with the recommended settings, especially for fields like email and summary. You can also change how and when the email sends that asks your user to submit a review. During COVID, we've had several customers contact us about pushing the review email timeline due to slowdowns in production and shipping. You don't want your shopper to receive the review email before they receive their items, so it's a good idea to keep this field up to date. We really recommend using this module for your product reviews. It's simple to use, integrates seamlessly into Miva, and it doesn't cost anything to purchase or operate. If you'd like more details about using the module, make sure you read the article on our blog linked below.